out here to visit family for Christmas and everything. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but that was, uh, I'm pretty sure that was gunshots. This is like deep, deep, deep in the country, so yeah. But we're gonna go visit family for Christmas. Hopefully you guys are with your families for Christmas. We're gonna go to my mom and stepdad's house and my brothers live there too, so thumbs up. Believe it or not, this is actually typical weather of North Carolina during Christmas, so. It was packing tape. Uh huh. There you go. What is that? Suicide Squad. 3D. 3D? <laughs> sure. It's not 5D? No, no 5D. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That was supposed to be the last one. Oh, too bad. <laughs> what is that? Oh, Rosetta Stone. It's for Arabic. Nice. Been, been having to do a lot of work over there and I need to learn some words. Besides, passwords. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to figure out how to wrap it. What the hell is that? It's a cookie jar. She, oh, she okay. kept saying, I want some Pioneer Woman stuff. I want some Pioneer <laughs> Woman stuff. I don't talk like that. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? That is so cute. Well, then you need that one that goes with it. That's something. Pepper shakers to go with the cookie jar. Hey, that one came in handy when I slept with the, with the with cake. The sprinkles. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Cause I need I need a new calendar for work. Oh okay, Walking Dead calendar. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, last year, well this year, everybody's like, you don't have your Walking Dead calendar. I was like, no, I didn't get one this year. <laughs> In three, oh my god, the whole thing in 3D? What? The whole thing. Oh, is that episode seven? Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Magnolia story? Yeah, you know that show, Fixer Upper? Yeah. It's their story. Curtis? Hmm? Knife? Scissors. Thank you. Well, that's dangerous. <laughs> Jesus. What do you use that for? <coughs> Gutting people? <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. Merry Christmas. Yo. Merry Christmas. Yo. You gotta get up and get your Christmas presents. Everyone else up? Everybody's up. Well, not everybody. So have to wake Christopher up. Hey! Mm. Hey, buddy! Uh. It's Christmas! Mm -hmm. You gotta get up, it's Christmas! Okay. <laughs> what? Look at Chris. Are you the Grim Reaper? Hey, babes. He's the Grim Sneaker. The Grim Sleeper. Mm-hmm. We gotta open it up and see what it says. <laughs> Okay. Which one is it? <laughs> it's the one you picked out. Turn it. <laughs> oh, okay. For the gym. Nice. <laughs> I, I, what did I say in Walmart the other day? Somebody better get me one on be mad. Oh, the cheese and the sausages. It is. It's not Christmas unless I get one of these. <laughs> and it's not Christmas unless I get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> now it is time to go visit other family that lives like 30 to 45 minutes away. So. We're gonna get on the road. We're probably gonna spend like an hour, hour and a half over there. And then it's over here again for yet another lunch. Like, that's the thing about like Christmas and Thanksgiving for my family is we're constantly like trying to go back and forth with like the lunches and everything. So there's a lunch out in Mebbin for me and then there's a later lunch here in Roxborough. So 
It's gonna be a lot of food today. I'm I'm probably really gonna need to work out after this, but let's get on the road. This is where I grew up, right here in Eflin, North Carolina. Right here is where I used to live, or where I lived from almost from the time that I was born till about 16 when I moved out. So I can't really remember whether it was uh, January 2nd or January 3rd, uh, but I know it was just after, um, it was just after New Year's that my mom called me and told me that my dad had passed away. Uh, he was, he was in his early to mid fifties. I can't, I can't really remember like the exact age that he was. The relationship I had with my father was kind of, we never really saw eye to eye on a bunch of things. And, you know, he's very, or he was very like old fashioned and kind of, kind of stuck in his own ways, I guess. Um, and I was obviously, you know, being like raised here, which is Eflin, North Carolina is kind of in the middle of nowhere. So that was something that I'd always wanted to do was to get out and live in like a big city. I lived in Durham, I've lived in Raleigh, um, I've lived in Cary, I lived in Apex, I've lived in a bunch of different places. And I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to uh, approach this subject, I guess. I wasn't really exactly sure how I was going to talk about it and everything. The the time of the year that we're in right now, December, like a lot of people say, you know, it's the holiday season or whatever. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. Or, you know, this is why we celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever. The point is, no matter what your relationship is with your parents, like I understand that there are some people who just absolutely cannot stand their parents and there are good reasons for that. But if it's just something like petty, like, oh, you know, they didn't let me go out when I was younger or they didn't let me do this or they didn't let me do that. Like if it's not something serious, then, you know, call, call your mom, call your dad. If you have a way to get in touch with them and just just tell them happy holidays because you never know when one day you're going to wake up and all right well it's time to end the video we're back in Roxboro at my mom's house kind of just want to turn the camera off finish editing this video and get it all uploaded to the channel um wanted to briefly mention that obviously today the contest has been going on for the past couple weeks is over and I'm gonna find the winner real quick. I'm going to try to randomly select a name. Actually, we'll ask this person to give us some help. Yeah, we'll ask them. Yes, I need you to pick a number between one and 10. One and 10, yeah. I got one. Just one? No, I picked the number. Well, okay, what's, what's the number? Seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Corey Cole. Corey. You win. Thank you very much.